Hello students, in this video we are going to study about certain developments that were taking place in other parts of the subcontinent while Rigveda was composed in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. Let us now look at the story of the megaliths. The stone boulders are known as megaliths, literally meaning big stones. The word megaliths is made up of two words, mega meaning big and lith meaning stone. So megaliths are big stones. The practice of carving megaliths began about 3000 years ago. And carving of megaliths was spread throughout the Deccan, South India, Northeastern region and Kashmir. During the Vedic times, the megaliths were used to mark burial sites or the places where people were buried. In this map of India, we can see the megalithic sites or the places from where the megaliths have been found in the Indian subcontinent. The megalithic sites are mostly in the South Indian, South India and the Deccan region of India. Now, the fact being that some megaliths can be seen on the surface while other megalithic burials are often underground. At present, archaeologists have found megaliths on the surface of the land and some other megalithic burials in on underground. At some places, sometimes, archaeologists find circle of stone boulders or single large stone standing on the ground. At some places, circles of stones are found on the surface of the land, like the one shown in the picture. These circles of the stones are the only symbol which indicate that there are burials under them. Now, there were several things that people did to make megaliths. For example, digging pits in the earth, transporting stones, breaking boulders, placing stones in the position, finding a suitable stone, shaping stones, burying the dead. These are basically, these activities are not in order. The picture here in the top this type of megalith is known as the cyst. Some cysts, like the one shown in the picture, have potholes which could have been used as an entrance. Now, all these burials of Vedic times have some unique features. Let us discuss them. In those times, the dead people were buried along with some objects. Generally, the dead were buried with black and red red ware pots. These were very distinctive type of pots. And also some burials had weapons of iron, skeleton of horses, horse equipment and ornaments of stones and even gold. Now the thing is that till here we do not find any evidence of the use of iron. It is now during this time that we for the first time hear that iron was now used by the people. These images on the left top is the horse equipment, left below are the axes and below this is a dagger. These are the iron equipments which have been found from megalithic burials. Now finding out about the social differences. Archaeologists think that objects found with a skeleton probably belong to the dead person. Sometimes more objects are found in one grave than in the other. Some of the burials reveal that there were social differences among the people. Social differences are the differences among the people based on wealth, caste and others. Sometimes more objects are found in one grave as compared to others. For example, in Brahmagiri, in a place or site called Brahmagiri, one skeleton was buried with 33 gold beads, two stone beads, 
फोर कॉपर बैंगल्स एंड वन कॉन्च शेल एंड सम अदर बरियल्स एट ब्रह्मागिरी हैव ओनली अ फ्यू पॉट्स अलोंग विद स्केलेटन्स सो दीज फाइंड्स सजेस्ट दैट देर वॉज सम सोशल डिफरेंस इन स्टेटस अमंग द पीपल हु वर बरीड these differences might have included that some were rich others were poor some were chief others were followers now let us look at were some burial spots meant for certain families or not now there were some burial spots showing that there are they are reserved for certain families now these burials contained more than one skeleton which shows that it is of the people of the same family the people of the same family were probably buried in the same place though not at the same time the bodies of those who died later in the family were brought to the grave through the potholes stone circles or boulders or the potholes are the circular window used for the passage of the objects stones placed on the land surface in circular form or in form of boulders served as signs to find the family burial site so that people could return to the same place whenever they wanted to now let us look at a special burial at inamgaon in the megalithic burial sites inamgaon has a special place Inamgaon is a place in Maharashtra on the bank of the river Ghot which is a tributary of the Bhima. Inamgaon was occupied between 3600 and 2700 years ago. In Inamgaon adults were generally buried in the ground and the positions were in such a way that their head faced the north or they were laid out straight facing the north sometimes these burials were within the houses so archaeologists have found that some people were buried in the ground inside the houses archaeologists have also found vessels that probably contained food and water that were kept with the dead now a special case in inamgaon has been found a man was found buried in a four legged clay jar in the courtyard of a five roomed house in a cross legged position in inamgaon the five roomed house was one of the largest house at the site and also had a granary or place where grains were stored let us now look at the occupations in inamgaon the archaeologists have found seeds of wheat barley rice pulses millet peas and sesame at inamgaon bones of animals have were also found with cut marks that show that they may have been used as food the bone of animals found were cattle buffalo goat sheep dog horse as etc pig sambar spotted deer black buck antelope har and mongoose bones were also found at inamgaon at inamgaon there is evidence of fruits such as beer amla jamun dates and a variety of berries all these pieces of evidence show that people of inamgaon knew hunting and farming the skeletal studies or the studies re related to studying the skeletons found at burial sites tell us whether how small or big a particular burial is it tells us the differences in the bones of a girl or a boy or a man or a woman so basically these distinctions regarding the gender of the person buried regarding the features 
and other things are based on the modern skeletal studies. Elsewhere in the world, in China, around 3,500 years ago, we find some, some of the first evidences of writing. These writings were on animals, bo animal bones, unlike in Indian subcontinent, we found writings on the palm leaf.